we have a, a man who's actually been in the studio with us before. Andrew Abood is an attorney uh, who practices primarily in Michigan. Right, Andrew? Yes, sir. How are you guys doing? Good. You were part of the, and you were up here uh, with Joel Brodsky. You were part of the Drew Peterson defense team. And you were handling the act of, you know, this, this case, this this murder case that is uh, that he is standing trial for. And, uh, and it, it seemed like, you know, everything was going swimmingly. And uh, you were part of that. And then now I read that uh, you are no longer in the case. What's going on there? Uh, we filed motions yesterday, and we withdrew, George, uh, Leonard, and myself. So it was a decision that we made, and the uh, nice thing about it is we didn't have time have to contemplate it for very long. We filed our motions, and we got out the same day. Uh, Mr. Like a drive through Mr. Like a drive through motion. Got it in and out and got a relief. Uh, Mr. Brodsky says that there were irreconcilable differences on defense strategy. Would you agree with that? Uh, well, I think what our motion said is that irreconcilable differences with Joel Brodsky. With Joel Brodsky. Yeah. Now, it's funny because now, Andrew, you did say here on the air, so this is on record, you did say this is a very good lawyer. This is a very, you, you were, you were uh, singing his praises. But this was, I guess, uh, almost a year ago now that you were here. But, but uh, the, you were, everything was, was happy. What, what, what went wrong there? Well, I don't know that anything went wrong, you know. I don't know when you say what went wrong. I think when I said those things, I meant them. And when I signed the motion... Uh, you meant that? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you, know, and you can say, well, that's, that's obviously a lawyer. But, you know, we we a lot's transpired since then. And and I, I don't think it's unusual that in a case like that, like that with Drew Peterson, when you have three lawyers working on uh, representing one client, that there's going to be differences and there's personalities and there's egos. Andrew, was this a case of you and George saying to Drew Peterson, it's us or him? No, to you know, I didn't, no, I'm not like that. I'm not like that. So you, you just know. chose you, the two of you decided I, to... I made a decision mm -hmm. uh, for myself. George made a decision for my for himself and you know, when the us or him thing is kind of a, you know, middle school, elementary thing. A lawyer has to conduct himself and make his own decisions. This is Cook County. I don't know if you're familiar with, uh, <laughs> and you're in Will County, in this case, in the Chicago area. I, we've seen some schoolyard antics. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that uh, you can be a lawyer and be above it. I just think that I was, I didn't ev evaluate it as a situation where uh, an ultimatum would be, something that would be in you know within my realm of uh conduct that i needed to do i made okay. a decision to get out and uh i made the right decision all right i will characterize it as this that obviously now you're you your primary practice is in michigan so you're about two hours away from chicago and uh, driving the speed limit or exceeding the speed limit? I, I, you know what? I've never, I've never driven the speed limit. So, so if I'm ever in Michigan, I'll be calling you. It's 250 miles. Um, 236 miles. 230. Oh, wow. So you, that's then it's all right. So you, you're three, four hours away, right? Yeah, on traffic. Three hours. Yeah. So you're, so you're not going to be in uh, here all the time. You're also not in the media market, so you're not seeing. Uh, the uh, antics of uh, perhaps your your co counsel in this. Uh, so, what are you? Um, uh, would you would you say you weren't sure what you were? You may not have known everything that you were in for when you first took this case. Uh, well, I think that that's a fair statement, but I think it's a fair statement about any case uh, of a nature like Drew Peterson's case. I mean, you never really can anticipate uh, everything that's happening, especially when you have a government like Will County that is pretty diligent and never stopped working on the case. So there's always going to be, you've got to be prepared for um, the unexpected. And so, you know, and that's one of the reasons that it made it a great case to be involved in. Right. To put the media aside, you know, it was a great case to be involved in because it was so unusual. All right, and lawyers will say that, and 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 I think I, I know what you mean when you say that. I think there's some people going to be offended when they hear you say that because there's one missing person, and one dead person in this, and so they're not going to be too happy about that. Well, I but don't I, blame them for being mad. Um, 
I mean, the people who uh, knew Kathy and knew Stacy, you know, they're personally involved. And uh, and your former client did not make this any easier because his 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 behavior, his conduct in this, has been anything but respectful. I think of the of the gravity of this and understanding what the what the public emotion is on. He's been clowning since day one, since the first day he showed up in the flag bandana and the sunglasses and 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 his uh, consistent appearance. On national media, I mean, hasn't they, he been on your show? Uh, he has. I don't know that. Wait, no. I'm trying, was, was he on our show? I don't think he don't actually think he was. was. Oh. He did not go on our show. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Brodsky has been on our show quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But you say it's been anything but respectful. I think he's. I think. I think Drew Peterson's been anything but respectful of the circumstances. Of, you know, of, of the emotions of the circumstance here. You know, I wouldn't want to. Um, be critical of my client because he was a great client and my dealings with him he was always great to me and grateful but i think that you know you would have a better idea of the gen of the sense of the general public than i would mm. very arrogant well andrew then are you saying that about me or somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> you're saying that about your former client 